Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, distinguished participants. I'm honored to be here today and to have opportunity to present your current situation in development of the demand in the Southeastern Europe market of interior uh, wooden doors. Uh, now I'd like to introduce you with uh, a short review of analyzed topics. Uh, I divided my pre presentation in five uh, topics. And the first uh, include the main factors of demand for interior wooden doors, and the second interior wooden door styles in Southeast European countries, a short uh, overview, and the third interior wooden doors market trade flow in the main import and export partners. Uh, some case studies, and the end uh, of my presentation, I will introduce you about uh, European quality standards for interior uh, wooden, wooden doors. Uh, analyze situation of uh, demand of uh, wooden interior wooden doors in Southeast European countries uh, covered 11 countries. Uh, on this slide, uh, you can see which uh, uh, those countries, as well as the geographic position of uh, region in, uh, in Europe. Uh, main factors of interior wooden doors market in this region can roughly be classified in two groups. Uh, the first includes situation of uh, demand on domestic uh, market, including situation in segment of uh, new residential uh, buildings, then situation in segment of residential renovation, and the following situation in the sector of public and commercial building uh, construction, uh, new non-residential and non-residential renovation. And the second group, uh, the factors include the situation of demand in countries which represent the main export market. Why? Uh, because the situation of demand in countries which represent the main export market significantly influenced at the uh, wooden doors uh, uh, production in, uh, in this region. Uh, one of the main factors of interior uh, wooden doors demand uh, in the region uh, is the current uh, uh, situation uh, in the sector of residential buildings. Uh, world economic uh, crisis has caused drastically the fall of residential building in Europe. On this slide, you can see the actual situation uh, according to the, uh, the, the, the finished dwellings in the Western and Eastern Europe. Uh, as you can see, uh, uh, the finished uh, dwellings in the Western and Eastern uh, Europe in 2011, the number of finished dwellings in the Western Europe was uh, only 650,000 uh, dwellings, which was only 45% comparing with the same number in 2007 as the maximum. In Eastern Europe, economic crisis didn't cause a uh, so dramatic fall of the number of finished dwellings, but influences uh, at speed of their buildings. Forecast for 2012 and 2014 uh, show slight recovery and growth of the number of finished dwellings in Western Europe, but uh, that number uh, will be far under the level from 2007. After fall in 2009 and 2010, the number of finished dwellings in the countries of the region uh, grave in 2011, and that trend will uh, continue also in 2012 and 2010. Uh, 13, thanks to Poland and Romania as uh, the biggest countries. Except of the number of uh, finished dwellings, important segment of interior wooden doors demand are new non-residential as well as non-residential renovation segment. On this slide you can see which was the share of some segment in total construction activities in some countries in 2000. For example, 68% from total interior wooden doors demand in Slovakia was constituted uh, by the new non-residential and non-residential renovation sector. 
in other countries' activities in the non-residential sector were important for interior wooden door demand. Unlike Slovakia, in Czech Republic and Hungary, public investment in the non-residential sector importantly declined. For example, public investment in the new buildings in Czech Republic declined 34% and in Hungary at about 5%. On following few slides uh, of interior wooden doors produced in countries of the region are shown. The most used materials uh, are hardwood like uh, oak and ash, softwood like uh, pine and spruce, as well as interior wooden doors made from MDF with high quality veneer, attractive surface patterns and attractive soft issues. Total production of interior wooden doors in countries of the region in 2010 was 8.7 million pieces or 582.8 million euros. More of 84% of total production is, is realized in Poland and the Czech Republic, which represent leading countries in the region. All other countries are far under these two, observing the size of production. Is a, a, a consequence of uh, expressed uh, crisis in a residential and non-residential sector in Western Europe, the export of interior wooden door from the region fall dramatically in 2009 and 2010. In 2009, the export declined 27% and in uh, 2010 additionally 4.6%. Similar situation is also with the doors. Import, which declined 35% in 2009 and additionally 20.1% uh, in 2010. Poland is the leading country in the region observing export with the share of 45.8% in 2010. Following Czech Republic with 18.6, uh, uh, Romania 12.6% uh, uh, and Slovenia 8.6%. These four countries compose two-thirds of all interior wooden door export of the region. 77.5% of total export is realized out of the Southeast European countries mostly in Germany, Denmark, and the United Kingdom. Only 22.5% is realized between countries uh, of the region. Export in China is, from this region is symbolical, and it was only 250,000 US dollar in 2010. Uh, Romania, Czech Republic, and Slovakia are the biggest importers in the region, with participation of 61% of the total interior wooden doors import in 2010. China is the most important country from which interior wooden doors are reported in this region. In 2010, the total import of these doors from China was 32.33.2 uh, million US dollars. Uh, only 59.3% uh, of total import is real realized out of the region, mostly from China and then Germany and Italy. The analyze of uh, the regional orientation uh, of Chinese uh, uh, interior wooden door export showed that the that share of the uh, Southeast European countries in 2010 was only 6%. This is relatively symbolical share, but it is important to point out that uh, fact uh, that uh, the export of China in this region grows from year to year. In some countries of the region exist strong companies which realize the most required jobs of interior furnishing around the world. 
This is example of residential palace in Uzbekistan, which was furnished by one Serbian company. This is example of interior of presidential palace in Uzbekistan, furnished by the same Serbian company. There are many examples of furnishing of interior interiors with uh, extremely high requirements realized by companies of the region around the world, primarily in Russia, France, uh, Spain, Germany, and Italy. All producers of interior wooden doors from the region are obligated to have uh, corresponding attest and uh, certificates for their products which are established by corresponding directives of the European Union. On this slide, you can see the all requirement uh, by directive of EU, which uh, uh, producers from this reg region uh, have to, to have, like mechanical resistance and stability, safety in case of fair, hygiene, health and environment, safe of usage, protection against noise and energy saving and the heat retention. Thank you for your attention.